this is one of my favorite buildings to visit during Christmas time here in Sydney. It's so beautifully decorated for Christmas. I feel like the lights would look really good at night time. We have these gum nuts here, very Aussie vibes. It's really nice up here. A lot of the stores are appointment only. It's very quiet. People are just working quietly <laughs> on their businesses. <laughs> oh, cute. What a cute display. Jam spoon. Christmas blends. Hey guys, so this morning I'm going to high tea. That's right. I guess technically it's like afternoon tea, but it's at 11 a.m. So excited. You guys know how much I love my high tea and it's going to be Christmassy and cozy. Oh, I can't wait. It's actually for my mum's birthday celebration. Her birthday was a couple of days ago. This is just like ultimate on-brand content for me and my channel. So I'm gonna show you guys my outfit and then we're gonna get going. My bow is from ASOS. Necklace and matching earrings are Anna Luisa as are like all my rings. I'll link them below. This is a men's blazer that I thrifted and these loafers. And to add a pop of color, my fuzzy faux furry pink bag. I'll again link everything below if I can find it. And that is the outfit. It is an overcast, rainy Sunday. I ordered these fabric markers, 30 colors, and I've already swatched them. I attempted to customize this shirt, doing this thing with my Cricut Joy. Anyway, you can kind of see the blue. I'm trying to go for like a coconut girl, sort of pastel, hibiscus print vibe. So the sleeve actually worked quite well. Faded a lot, but you can kind of see the design there. On the front, there's also supposed to be a hibiscus print and it's very faded. So I thought I'd try these fabric markers to do kind of a, I don't know, like a cute DIY coloring book inspired t-shirt. I'll put some inspiration photos right here. It reminds me a lot of when you are leaving school, moving schools, I don't know, and you get like a t-shirt and you get all your schoolmates to sign it. Here in Australia, it was a big tradition to have like a plushy bear that you would take to school and everyone would sign it. I'm gonna put some cardboard behind it so it doesn't bleed through. So let's see what we can create. finished coloring in my t-shirt and after this I have gained some experience to give you guys some really important tips if you plan to do a similar project yourself. My number one tip is to start with the tip of your marker. Your marker will of course start with a nice fresh pointed tip so you want to start by outlining your design first. Get in those little fine lines and details like these little pointed parts and corners and then color it in. As you start coloring, your pointed tip will start to flatten and it will lose its nice crisp sharp point. So get the details in first. When you start filling it in, try and color along the grain of the fabric. So I'm doing horizontal strokes. This allows the ink to seep into the fabric more easily so you get 
pretty decent coverage. Of course, it's still gonna have the like the texture look, but that's the whole kind of vibe we're going for anyway, is the marker look. Third is to color in your design with just one layer of ink first. Just get it coated. Don't really color in all the perfect little white dots and details to start with because you might actually find your pen runs out of ink. So you wanna start by doing outline, basic coloring, and then if you have any spare ink, you can go in and sort of patch up any of those finer details or little maybe white dots that you might have missed. My final tip isn't very lefty friendly, but try and color in from left to right or in a direction that allows you to color in without your hand leaning in the fresh ink as you go, because you don't want to get the ink on your hand and then splodge it all over your project. So those are my tips for you guys. I think I'm almost completely done coloring this in now. I looked up some methods on how to set fabric markers. These ones did not come with any instructions, but to be safe, I am going to heat set it. That seems to be what a lot of people do and they say it works really well. I'm also making sure to keep the iron moving constantly because I want to get it as hot as possible without burning the fabric. It's a little early to be wrapping Christmas gifts. And also I know I wear this t-shirt all the time. Anyway, I know it's early to wrap Christmas gifts, but I'm going away over Christmas. So I figured if I do some now, I've got one less thing to do later on. Plus I really enjoy wrapping gifts. So let's do a fun time lapse of wrapping Christmas gifts together. check. We have arrived in the city. First stop, Gucci, not for me, for my mom. She wants to look at the shoes. I'm with mom today. Oh, the side of the store is so pretty. Here we are. That couch, that is amazing. Oh, I love it. These are the famous, famous Christmas windows that this department store, David Jones, do every Christmas. Lately, they've been basing them on Christmas children's books. Oh, here we go. This one. Oh my gosh, so cute. Keeping the star bar. display this is so cool this is totally new this year this whole gifting floor oh tinsel that is that is a very vintage a vintage Christmas tree if you guys have seen what vintage Christmas trees look like I think from the 1950s 1960s Ooh, futuristic and drama. Oh my gosh, look at the fitting room for the little girls. Oh my god, it's so cute. Princess fitting room. Oh, no one in there, <laughs> of course. Oh my gosh, look how cute. 
the kitty section they get way cuter stuff way cuter fitting rooms i'm getting kind of tired my feet are starting to get sore i think i'm gonna have to head home pretty soon i'm home comfy clothes are on i have a nice cup of tea this is the candy cane flavor from my tea advent calendar. Tonight I'm going to be doing a fake tan test run of my Rebel Tan that was sent to me by Rebel Tan. It's a brand new product. It's the same company as the Silly George Lash Serum that I love. I have my Rebel Tan tanning foam in the shade medium. Exfoliating mitt, I already exfoliated last night. Tanning mitt and little kabuki brush which is for tanning your hands, wrist, feet, ankles, and elbows. This is great because I actually usually use a makeup brush for tanning my hands and those areas to put a really light layer over. So it's super nice that now I have a dedicated brush for them. There's my whole little kit all ready for my tanning practice run because I'm going on a beach holiday, so I want to make sure I get it right. But anyway, I'm doing that tonight, so I thought I'd show you guys a little before and after. I'm so happy with the result. I'm wearing the shade medium, which is the lighter shade because I have very fair skin. Something else I was going to mention about this is that it smells really really nice going on. It's got barely any fake tan smell. The only time I started to smell the fake tan smell was in the night, I think as it was starting to develop, but I was asleep then anyway, so it didn't really matter. And then I rinsed off in the morning. So if you have a hound's nose like I do, I think you'll find you really like the scent of this. It actually has a nice scent when you're applying it too. If you'd like to try it yourself, I have a 15% off discount code. It'll be right here on the screen and linked below as well. You guys, before I end this vlog, I have to show you something really special in my Yawn Tea Advent Calendar. I was opening my day 12 just like this. I took out the little bag of tea and because I had it flat on my table and I opened it like this, I saw words on the inside. Can you see those shiny words? And I thought, is this some kind of Easter egg that when you're finished, you can turn the box inside out and there's like a design or something, I don't know. So then I reached in and I saw a golden ticket. So I guess it's a little promo, so you will follow them on Instagram. And honestly it worked because now I want to see if I get drawn and if I'm a winner. Isn't that just such a cute idea?